What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This time we're gonna have a event overview first look and I give you my peace of mind about some of the traits changes to the game as well as the event progress and for people that maybe this is your first event I can also quickly go over uh, how to progress the event, uh, get the pledge marks in game, get those uh, burner traits and spice up your hunt experience all around. Alright once you open the game you'll be greeted by this screen that's gonna briefly tell you yo the event is live and uh, this is what's new. Uh, so we have new pack, the dead pack, the infernal and the mentioned pack. I'm gonna go over the traits. I swear this is not scripted, this is my ringtone. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the packs. We're gonna go through the packs as well. I'm gonna tell you and give you my peace of mind uh, which packs I'm probably gonna run through. I mean, I'm gonna try all of them, but uh, we can talk meta when it comes to packs as well. The altars, of course, for people that played before, you can interact with them to get some extra points. We have a new time of the day, Dark Inferno. I'm gonna try to load in some games and maybe give you a, a brief uh, early uh, look on it. And we have the battle pass as well that I'm going to explain to you all in just a moment. All right, now, first things first, once you open the game, you're of course going to navigate to the events uh, page here. That's going to be a new one on top. And you will be greeted by the battle pass with many great skins now that we finally get to enjoy in game with the inspect feature. You get to enjoy fully details. I'm of course not going to go through all of the skins because there's many and many new additions. Uh, and it's probably going to be more enjoyable for you once you open the game to actually explore them fully yourself. However, I'm going to explain the battle pass for the people that are new. Uh, the battle pass, you don't have to buy or unlock anything to have access to the new toys, new custom ammo and all the new weapon variants. But if you want to lift this like uh, lock above it and unlock these premium rewards, you gotta buy the battle pass. Now the difference between normal battle pass and the premium one, the premium one just gives you 15 levels instantly. So you're basically gonna start from um, here, there. You're instantly gonna have the cyclone and dominate your lobbies with it because cyclone is ton of fun. Now for the sake of video, I already purchased the whole event here and this is also a play test. This is not on live you will still see me on twitch grinding these events uh, in the upcoming weeks so if you're not there yet make sure to stop by and say hello but yeah how to progress the event now you have it here in the details the event progress is the classic like the previous ones you get to extract with the bounty for 30 points banishing looting hunters investigating the event clue looting the defiled altars or destroying the altars is a little less but they they can damage the enemies as well they explode around so you get some silly kills with that like some challenging kills as well and the main approach of the event is probably going to be like the previously where you do it through the challenges that reset uh, weekly i believe every wednesday so you're probably gonna jump the most progress if you tune in uh for the challenges, you complete these challenges in a day or two depending on your playtime and then you wait for them to reset. That's basically gonna be the gameplay loop, at least I believe. Alright, now that you know how to progress the event itself and the battle pass and uh, roughly about the challenges, uh, you're gonna be probably interested in the new traits and we have uh, three new packs as mentioned at the start. We have the Mented Pact with Acolyte and Remedy trait. Also, all these packs have like their unique uh, trades that you pledge with and they enhance some of the already existing one like the uh, ghoul for demented pact which is the, the thing with demented i don't think i'm gonna run it too much we have damaging boss or wild target restores a small amount of health i have region shot running non-stop don't think i'm personally gonna benefit from it also picking up a clue gives you a trait and hand dollars sometimes you just spawn on a boss and you instantly pick up one clue and that's it you're limited with the clues for the rest of the game remedy used to play a huge part in the previous event but in this one there's a uh, different and uh, in my opinion more fun ways to fully heal yourself however remedy still like if you want to run a dimension pack they have some cool skins as well included now and some pre-pledged hunters uh, feel free to because remedy is still good when once you find a trait uh, or kill a meathead or find a random one you can banish it get fully restored and uh, replenish all your burned bars and lost bars uh, it's pretty good having like a banish on demand like this with remedy so it's, remedy is still pretty cool but there's cooler ways to have your health bars back all right moving on we have dead pack and the first trait to witness while in dark side dead hunters and monsters are visible and health restoration increased when close to them uh, also highlighted in beetle view first part of this one dead hunters being visible in dark side i think should always be in the game or something especially when they die in the water or something like that but it's gonna be fun to use this one uh, all around and also with the shadow near the monsters you can just like be stealthy and get some free heals in uh, pretty fun i think i'm gonna vibe with dead pack quite a lot uh, also relentless we had 
that one previously this time it's burner trait as well uh, your hunter won't lose a health chunk when down so pretty good for some aggressive revives necromancer players when solo or well while with the team uh, definitely gonna benefit from relentless however why i said remedy is overshadowed now is because vulture uh, uh, where's vulture has a new like secondary use to, together with the dead pack now and looting a dead hunter will restore a one health chunk in exchange for one pledge mark so if you're stacked on pledge marks uh, you know there's some dead hunters uh, in the back you don't loot them you save them for later in case you're down just go back up vulture it up and uh, restore your health bar quite creative ways to get your bars back throughout this event and i'm really looking forward to see how it's going to be played and speaking of creative ways to play I think Infernal is also going to be another pack that I'm going to run with some uh, teamed loadouts, fully fire, especially with hand crossbow and dragon bread now, together with drilling quite nice and uh, versatile loadout. You're probably going to see some highlights of that one. But yeah, health restoration greatly increased while in flames and you can't catch on fire. Also, map's going to be on fire. We have Inferno again, so it's going to be nice to play Blazeborn together with rampage killing an enemy hunter while at least one health chunk is empty triggers restoration for your hunter. So basically you're gonna like put yourself on fire in some scenarios and just go on a rampage killing hunters while being low on HP. It's like a berserker mod I think and it's gonna be a ton of fun to use and utilize. Uh, so definitely overshadowing the mentioned pact here both that pact and infernal pact. Uh, uh, we have on the infernal they have Bloodless here with Infernal Pact uh, combo. Bleeding is stopped automatically because your wounds are cauterized. Like one second call down there. So it's pretty good against bleed damage as well. And this time around we don't have the Dead Shade. But we're going to have Shadow for all these packs to equip. Uh, and Shadow for people that don't know. I made some highlights in the past. Monsters can see you but they can still hear you. Burns when your hunter is down. So I'm really interested to see how efficient it's going to be while burning as well. You can equip it three times of course. And it's going to burn down maybe quite quickly depending what you prioritize here with the rampage i really wonder how many times i'm gonna have also shadow rampage and all these trades going on uh, definitely we, we might make some different approach to the game all around uh, it's gonna be fun exploring all of this and of course shiny is gonna boost your event points by 10 now speaking of boosted event points we're gonna have hunters that are pre-pledged that are instantly boosting your event points uh they will have these little symbols i'll show them here there you go like on the first one He's got bonus, but he's already pre-pledged. We have a couple of ones that have bonuses and they are not pre-pledged to any faction. So you can like still pledge them yourself and uh, have that freedom in game. Uh, we have some cool new hunters as well added to the game. We have uh, the wild man. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool looking hunter. Gives me some red dead vibes. We have scarecrow. That's probably going to be fan favorite. But as of right now, he's pre-pledged to dimension pack. So you got to commit to that one. Butcher's pretty, pretty badass as well. Also pre-pledged hunter. And of course, Burnt Marshall. I think that's the one I'm going to run a lot uh, when I'm trying to do meme with the Rampage and all the Infernal Madness. Uh, now I'm going to dive into the game and we're going to try to find the uh, supply wagons to show you basically how pledging works, show you those altars and perhaps the new Inferno if we load into the correct map. All right, I tried multiple times to load in into the Dark Inferno, but there was no luck. So we're just going to roll with this one. I'm going to show you some of the gameplay changes as well that were, I personally, I was looking forward to big time. And of course, uh, some things that people were asking for for a long while, like Weapon Inspect here. I also have uh, the Precision Aprica Deadeye with a steady hand and... Uh, that I scopesman so you can see it's gonna be a perhaps a head clicker if your aim is on point it's long ammo as well quite uh, snappy and responsive weapon uh, it's a medium slot so we'll see how used it is I love that devs are trying to introduce more of the medium slot stuffs now hopefully we get more uh, variety in our loadouts and let me go to the supply point over here we also have these beauties I pick a Kimbo for that uh, bonus swag points of course with Bornheim silencers, they're definitely gonna be fun to run. I might run only one of them, but we'll see how ammo hungry they get. We have these altars. I tested them earlier as well, but I'm gonna do it here for science. They deal a good amount of damage. They don't burn you, which was odd, especially because the whole vibe of the event is uh, burning and all. But they don't burn you. They just deal a huge chunk of damage. So if you're near one of them, you will get uh, slapped. Now we have this inspect animation, definitely gonna make me run back to the using knives 
because knives are just amazing. You can run around and spam this one. All right, now that we're here, I'm going to show you some of the new toys that we got to play with. Of course, next to these new weapons, we have a flashbang change that was long coming. As I said, uh, if you watch my streams, if you saw some of my previous compilations, you know that many 1v1 clutches end up on whoever flashes the other one first, and it's just an easy kill. Now you have multiple ways to outplay the flash, because uh, there is this fuse time. You can still move very slowly and enemies get time to react. That's the flash. And also, while if you're on receiving and if you get flashed, if you have bulwark, it's reduced. The time of you being flashed is reduced. Also, the screen of being flashed, it's not that actually IRL flashing white that if you play during the nighttime, you're literally disoriented the IRL and you can see for a little bit because your eyes need some time to adjust so all around good changes for flash we'll see if it's overkill on the nerfs because you also can't loot them from the world now in the toolboxes I, I feel like you know I was getting them too often sometimes I end up with having four contraband flashes just because I'm looting them from the toolboxes but not now now we have a fire beetle to my knowledge fire beetle can't burn the, the bodies that are on the ground Oh, we have these altars as well in the middle of you. But it acts like as, as a hellfire bomb, I think. It's gonna burn 25 health off of you right away. And I'm gonna get him on the view here, so... So you can see the whole thing now when I explode it. There you have it. That's the blast as well. It didn't reach the oil here, so... Really limited blast uh, radius there. And we can shoot this one. You will see the animation when we shoot it. Perfect. Now, once you get enough points, of course, we'll need Trinity to pre-pledge ourselves. But you can interact with this in advance and pre-pledge your hunter in case you have like vulture bloodless or ghoul was it uh we have demented that's the one they're the mad lads don't know if monroe is there seems like monroe should be one of them then we have infernal that's already seen we've seen this one before and a new dead pact they're pretty pretty cool pretty badass so we're gonna go for them because skulls the skull needs mustaches now we have the traits there we go relentless witness and if we happen to have Vulture, that one would gain the effect as well. But yeah, all around, tell me how you like these changes. Uh, comment down below. Tell me which packs you're going to be playing. All right, and a bonus clip, of course, because uh, I will be putting Scarecrow in a thumbnail. And I don't want thumbnail to be misleading. And you guys expect to see his inspect animations. And I'm playing the other hunter. Here's the Scarecrow. Definitely, as I said, my favorite. But I'm not going to vibe with him probably throughout the event because he's pre pledge on dimension i want to have freedom to pledge however i want in games but here he is pretty bloody and badass in game uh hands and also i didn't get the dark, dark inferno now again of course i can talk about this event for so much longer but it wouldn't be a brief showcase and review of the event i just touch up on some topics like the flashbang changes weapon inspect fire beetle but there's gonna be so much more to it so i recommend you dive right into it and check it out for yourself also join my stream because i'll be live there definitely talking about it feel free to ask me any questions i'm live mondays through friday 1 p.m central european time and i'll hope to see you there other than that enjoy the event i hope the video was helpful if uh, there's something else you want to know as well you can drop the comment down below i'll try my best to answer to you uh, and uh, i'll see you in the bio take care and have a great one